Hi, my name is Maria, and I'm a visual artist and teaching artist. Today's lesson is going to be on making butterflies out of um, origami or paper. Um, um, so, um, origami paper, or um, you can just uh, find uh, different kinds of paper at home. So, if you have um, just any thin paper, newspaper, magazine paper works. Um, I created this pattern paper that I'm going to show you how to cut into a square if you don't have um, origami paper. So, um, so if you have origami paper, just um, you're just going to need a square. So it's just a regular square. Um, and then pick out the color that best um, that you identify the best with, some, a color that represents you. So um, so I usually, um, I like greens and blues a lot, so I'll probably make one of the butterflies, of, like a dark blue. Um, and then I also have this pattern paper that I'm going to show you how to cut out. So, so you just need a rectangle square. Um, so you want to make sure when you cut your paper, it's um, all the sides are equally um, the same size. So uh, let's see. So I'm going to guesstimate with this one um, but you could also use a ruler so if you have a ruler um, if you want to make like six inches on each side you can just put the ruler and cut out so um, so I'm going to assume um, this is all the same length okay so so I'm always cutting squares so it's kind of programmed in my brain already kind of how to cut a square um, so you just want to make sure that um, that all your sides are evenly cut. You can see, and then you can um, see there. Um, this one is a, a tiny bit bigger than this origami paper, but that's okay. Um, so, so I'm gonna make the butterfly with this um, paper. Um, so you're, uh, so the first thing is you have your square and you're gonna fold it. I always say fold it sandwich style when I when I tell my students it's like just make sure it's like folded maybe hot dog also it's another uh, reference we refer to so um, so you want to make sure that the the this line is very crispy so you want to go with your fingernail just to press it and make sure that is very pressed and it's calm um, so see and then you're gonna grab your scissors and you're gonna cut through the uh, crisp so you're going to cut through this line that you uh, that is evenly um, through your paper. So cut out evenly. So now you have two uh, sides. So kind of like buildings. I um, so two, and so you're going to grab one of the papers. Um, so these are your wings. So these are going to be the up and lower wings. So now we're going to fold them like an accordion. Um, so you're going to grab one of the sides and bend it over um, and then you're going to flip over your paper and bend over the side and then continue doing it like this until you're done folding uh, the paper and you want to make sure you press every time you fold so that you can retain kind of like the accordion um, look. So keep pressing. So I always think I'm making a tiny little instrument. I'm like, so every time I'm folding, I'm like, oh, I'm going to make a tiny accordion. And so see, you have like a little accordion wing. Um, and then you're going to fold it in half. So that's why you want to make sure you keep your paper small because it can get really thick and hard to fold. So, so there you have your lower wings. And then spread them out a little bit. And then you're going to grab your other paper. And so this paper, um, you're actually going to fold it uh, right at, like uh, instead of like uh, this way, you're going to fold it uh, like uh, vertically. Uh, or horizontally. Um, so you're going to grab similar what you did with the other. So this one is, um, so you're going to fold it like this, like a little 
maybe like a tiny bit. You don't need to like fold it too small. Um, so you're going to do the same fold back and forth like an accordion. Okay, and then you have your wide paper and then you're also going to fold this in the middle. And you can start seeing you have the upper wings and lower wings of your butterfly and then uh, you just are going to grab a string of um, piece of string so it could, uh, it could be any type of string um, you find at home um, and then with this string what you're doing is you're um, making sure to keep your butterfly together so you're going to fold it and uh, the, you're going to put your string through the area where you folded both of your papers and then you're going to slowly do a tight knot. And then spread them out. And you have a paper butterfly inspired by nature. And so see with the origami paper it's similar. Um, I need to put a string through this um, but yeah so. And then you could also fold the edges of your uh, upper papers of the long wings to give it more like a like a you want to give it more like a circular wings you could do a little bit of folding there so we've created a butterfly so as artists um, we use a lot of inspiration from things around us so a lot of my students and a lot of um, youth that I work with are are really inspired by things that they see around them. So like butterflies, birds, or animals. And we as humans for thousands of years have been very observant of the uh, plant life, animal life around us. And we've, um, we've created artwork out of what we see. So some of the earliest drawings humans did were of animals and plants. And so, um, and so you can see how we've created these tools like paper that we make art now with um, and uh, emulating and um, inspired by nature. And so when I think of butterflies, I think of freedom, movement, I think of crossing boundaries, borders, like just expanding. And so, um, so each of us internally have our own little butterfly. So if your butterfly is blue, your butterfly is pink, it's, it's up to you to create. So this uh, teaches us how we can use paper to create um, things. So all you need is a piece of paper, a string, and scissors. So, um, so just uh, make sure you ask your parents, you're like, I want to make this. Um, just a newspaper, if you have that at home, you could use a cardboard paper, even like a cardboard from like cereal box, you could use that also. Um, so um, yeah, so my name is Maria and I'm really glad we made art together today and I hope you are inspired by nature, by butterflies, flowers, anything you see around. And if you want to create other type of art with paper, that's perfectly fine. That paper is so flexible. There's thousands of things you can create just with a piece of paper.